There's something that's going on in this country right now, and it's, it's the hot ticket item across the country in policing, and it has to do with police community relations. And back in October, we undertook a mission in this agency that we're going to create a customer service model of policing that doesn't exist anyplace else in this country. And I asked Laurel to join us, and we asked for people from the community to join us and help us develop our community relations strategy. I think it's a pretty good idea to ask the people who you're going to be interacting with to help us build it. The majority said I only trust the police department in certain situations. A good amount said I never trust the police department. See a police officer, what you think? Huh? When, you, when you see a police officer, what do you think? I keep it moving, like I, they like a, like like an enemy to me. I, I don't say no, I keep it moving. The hardest thing I ever had to deal with on a job, which really, I don't say angers me, but but annoys me, is when I come up on a small child walking with their mother, father, and the first thing out of their mouth is they always say, uh, "Yo, those are the cops. They're gonna lock you up." Every time we walk down the street, and he can be like five deep walking down the street, and they just like, "Yo, you come in." You come in. You put all us on the walls, just checking us. You got ID, you got ID. Most people be juveniles coming from school. And right off the bat, you have a, a bad, you know, a preconceived notion of what we do and what we, you know, what we are. And it, right off the bat, it kills us. It hurts us. You know, it's self-evident to me that the interaction that most citizens have with government is not with their legislators or their, uh, you know, any elected representative, it's with the police. We often hear about stories like immigrants um, are afraid of reporting crimes, including um, our clients because we deal with domestic violence survivors, mm -hmm. where you do have to go to police to seek um, for, um, for help. You know, picture every time you, you get out of your, your car to do your job and interact with the community, there's that automatic feeling of mistrust and that, you know, that, that, that us and them type of feeling. We see an abysmally low solve rate in, on crimes in Newark. We see, uh, you know, a, a murder rate that's seven times the state average in 2010. Um, and, and that's not separate and apart from community trust. That's because of community trust. You're afraid to even... Uh have a relationship with the police because some of the communities have you so afraid that if you have a relationship with the police officers that you, your life is in danger or your family's life is in danger. So it, it affects the community a lot. And it's not just because they're afraid of us, they're afraid of what's going to happen to them also. You know, fear of retaliation. How could the North Police Department improve community relations, particularly in your neighborhood? Helping seniors, helping seniors and, and developing more youth programs. There's so little trust between the police and the community, and that hurts the community, right? Because everyone wants their grandmothers who get mugged to get justice. They need to get more involved with the community, you know, like, like events, like more involved in being visual. It's the simple, hey, what's up, how you doing? Everything good? A simple question like that can start a report with somebody. And if they see you there day after day after day doing the same thing, they're gonna, they're gonna trust you more and more. It really takes trusted pastors or you know, community leaders uh -huh. um, to, to, to actually get the um, reliable data. If there's a mistrust, you know, sometimes people won't even bother to make the complaint because they don't have that trust in the police department or in the system. And and without us receiving those complaints and knowing where we're doing wrong or knowing things that we need to fix, you know, how can we police ourselves? Do you have uh, positive, neutral, or negative feelings towards them? I'm neutral. neutral. Because, uh, you know, I know it's a rough job, but you got to be a special person to be a police in there. 
you can you can find yourself violating too at times. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But we're human. Yeah, it happens. Human, yeah. Absolutely.